the simplest thing to know. Um, I'm going to do it on a new layer. You always want to do it on a new layer. You're going to want to take one of these blocks. Uh, these are just colored. Set them to the next recolor. In this case, let's say that I'm using one, and it will be two. I'm going to set it to all white. Now, you can do this vanilla simply by um, putting them to two scale and then moving them along. That's the best way to optimize it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just massively scale hack this one object for optimization. You're going to want to set it to don't fade, don't enter. Go do that. And then you're going to want to cover a little more than the area that you're doing this too. And then you're going to want to grab it all, set it to a group. Alright. This group you're going to want to have be invisible by setting the opacity to zero with a alpha trigger um, for the most part. I also like to have this be on a similar or same uh, layer to the actual thing although setting all your triggers to layer zero also helps um, but what I'll do so at that note basically right here I want it to do it so I'll set it to fade time zero full opacity followed by probably about two regular editor steps later setting it to like fade time three back to zero now you may notice it doesn't really cover everything the important thing to do is with these uh, you're actually going to make sure they're on the highest possible layer over everything you want to hide and so now when you do that Uh, just for cleanliness sake, I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff layering over. And then you can adjust how long it takes to fade out and how long it holds by simply just adjusting the position. So now if you're looking at it from right here you see it kind of flashes everything. And that's how you do that effect.